Welcome to Electron Online. We have now found an equivalency between the cosine square of x and expression expressing the angle in single power. We want to do the same for the sine square of x and the methodology is almost exactly the same. We're going to use this equation again, the cosine double angle, because now we have a relationship between the sine square of x and something we can express in single angle. But now we have to get rid of the cosine square of x. We're going, to, we're going to use this equation, so we can write that the cosine square of x equals 1 minus the sine square of x. And we can then substitute that in for this equation, and we end up with the cosine of 2x is equal to 1 minus the sine square of x minus the sine square of x. So we replace the cosine, of, the cosine square of x by 1 minus the sine square of x. We can now combine the like terms. So we have the cosine of 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 times the sine square of x. Moving the 1 across the other side, we end up with the cosine of 2x minus 1 equals minus 2 times the sine square of x. And then we divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2, so this cancels out. We can apply the negative by switching these around. So now we can write that 1 minus the cosine of 2x divided by 2 equals the sine square of x. And now we have an equivalency between the sine square of x and expression to single powers. So we can then say that the sine square of x can be written as 1 minus the cosine of 2x divided by 2. And that's how we do that.